Hi, my name is Michael and I'm the developer of Gyromote, the Unity 3D remote gyroscope. What you can do with this little app is that it transfers your gyroscope information to your desktop development environment. And you need two pieces for that. First of all, you need to have the app running on your iPhone. You can get it on the App Store. And you have to have the Gyromote asset from the Unity 3D asset store. And then you can implement the Gyromote client in your project. And when you run it, you just connect to the server running on your mobile device. And then what you will see is that your gyroscope information on your development platform is updated by the information that your mobile device is providing. You will get a nice debug information on your device and on your development screen as an overlay where you can see all the numbers transferred over the network. And that's basically it. As simple as that. Now, in the second part of this video, I'd like to show you how to integrate the Gyro Mode Unity 3D Remote Gyroscope into your Unity 3D projects. I opened up my Unity and I am started a new project where I only imported my Gyro Mode as you will import it from the Asset Store. And it comes with a blank scene which contains only the main camera and that's it. So for the remote gyroscope to work, um, grab your gyro mode, resources, gyro mode prefab and drag it out to the hierarchy. And this is basically an empty game object that has a script attached to it for the remote gyroscope to work. Make sure to not drag out the remote gyroscope. This is not what you'd like to have in the scene at this point. Uh, make sure it is the gyro mode prefab that you drag out. Now, if you start your project now, what this gets you is a connection window where you can type in the IP address of your iPhone or uh, iPad. And then when you hit connect, the server application running on your mobile device. And you can also already see the numbers bouncing up and down and around as you move your device, but you don't see anything else on screen as the values are not wired to any functionality within your project. So this is what we are going to do next. You just create a new script called whatever you like and open it up in your favorite editor. I'm using the Mono developers that came with the Unity 3D development environment. And you'll end up with the blank C sharp script template. So in order to access the remote gyroscope information from the server, we just instantiate a, for this time, private remote gyroscope gyroscope and when the script starts we look for the remote gyroscope that is gyroscope equals gyro mode gyro so what this does is it connects the remote gyroscope from your server running on the iOS device to the remote gyroscope instance variable to uh, your project. So from this point on, you can access your remote gyroscopes data like the attitude or user acceleration or the gravity rotation rate and stuff like that just from the variable that you named a uh, gyroscope which is an instance of the remote gyroscope class and then you from this point on you can work with these values 